All right, we are going to try an experiment here. I have heard that you can clone mushroom tissue from dried mushrooms. Um, it is kind of uh, out there. I've never tried it myself. So we're going to try that now. Um, we're going to do this experiment and see if it works. So we got our dry mushroom right here. And clean hands with alcohol. And we have two agar plates right here. I'm going to try on two in case one of them gets uh, contamination. Hopefully out of the two we can get one and then if we do get contamination we can transfer from one agar cup to another one and, uh, and start cleaning it out. So here we go. I'm going to take, I've heard that you should put it with the spores down. So I'm going to take a small piece and just clip it with my fingers. This is not the best way to do this. In the center. If this was a fresh specimen, I know it would work perfectly. But this is not fresh, and these are not uh, sterile conditions at all. So I'm anticipating that I'm going to have to do some agar transfers to to get this working but this is a good test to do because I've never done this before and who knows another thing is that these two agar plates have been sitting around for a bit so I don't know they may be iffy so this is a, an experiment in uh, a few different uh, fronts we'll see I'm gonna document this take pictures as it uh, unfolds keep you posted <laughs> 